Hey y'all, today is a book review and I will be sharing with you Sing You Home by Jodi Picoult. Sing You Home came out in 2011 and it's about a woman who, after several personal tragedies, gives a chance at love. Her name is Zoe and she finds herself um, dealing with people who are against her for the person that she's in love with. Jodi Picoult is one of my favorite authors. A lot of you know that, and I really love her writing. I love the, her ability to write her stories in such a realistic way that you could just imagine that somebody's actually dealing with that situation right at this moment, and you feel that she really loves her characters very well because she puts so much effort and time into these. It feels like she does when she's writing it, and so I really appreciate that from her because her writing is so beautiful. I really appreciate how she, I say appreciate a lot, but I really like that she gives that um, extra effort in making sure that we get a sense of who these people are. And the one thing that I really appreciate in this book is that you get to see three different perspectives from the main, from the three main characters. So I really like that. I've always had a love for that kind of writing because you usually only get to see one person's perspective but with her and several of her books like My Sister's Keeper you get to see several people's perspectives on what's going on and so it's really nice because you get to really know the people when it comes to this story um, I don't really want to spoil it for you so I'm kind of hesitant but it's a very sensitive issue and I really appreciate how she went into th this subject. There's a lot of fights and arguments over this topic and I think that she did really well in being sensitive and gentle when it came to going into the subject. That She did really well in making um, each side um, count. Also, there was a bit of an issue with how she did the story. I must say I didn't like the beginning just because it felt really rushed. The one issue that I had with her writing was that the beginning felt rushed. Uh, you know how when you get really excited for something and you just want to jump right into it and by doing so you miss like five days, you know, and that kind of feeling? So I thought that was the way it was with her. So she rushed to see the back story just to get to the best part, which was, you know, main part of the story and I felt that if she had just did it differently it would have been better. I kind of wish that she had put it into present time right away with her being with the person that her starting to get to know the person that she falls in love with and then you have like flashbacks or something like that which I've seen her do before so I was kind of curious why she did this way because it really did feel rushed and I would have appreciated it better if she had done it just a tad differently. Yeah, issues with Max. He, I don't know, I kind of like, I had, at parts I was really sympathetic towards him because I understood what he was dealing with. But at the same time, I lost respect for him. So like, I really appreciated Vanessa and Zoe's point of view in this you book. really feel for them. And they, and they had respect for the other side, you know. They didn't, hate on them. I mean, they had anger towards them for what they were doing to them, but they didn't have that, I, I'm going to call you names and I'm going to disrespect you because of your beliefs, that kind of thing. They didn't have that, so I really respected them more for that. The ending of this book comes through the eyes of a child, and I really like that because of everything that's been going on in this book that's very non-innocent and very bitter. You get this happiness and innocence from this child that I really appreciate having that in you. And also you get this very, um, you ha get a closure about what, what happens after this, after it all ends. You know, what's their lives like. And so you get that bit of closure and I really appreciate it. Now on to the grading. I gave the writing a 5 out of 5. The storyline a 4 out of 5. The characters a 5 out of 5 and the ending a 5 out of 5, which gives the book a grade of 19 out of 20 stars. If you've read this book before, tell me in the comments below what you thought of it. 
And until next time, peace out.